everyone i am priya and welcome to my youtube channel so in this particular video i'll talk about that how we can you know try to learn dsa in a very optimized way this question have been asked from me a lot many number of times by various students uh, and i used to teach dsa so that's why they might feel that let's ask her that how we can get uh, expertise over that particular domain see uh, let me uh, say that there are two ways with the help of which you can get a good expertise over the concepts of dsa data structure and algorithms the very first way is uh, the students might find it preferable as well that they what they usually do is that they'll try to learn each and every data structure each and every algorithm first and then uh, they thought that let's target the interview based questions of that i'm not saying that's a best approach or that's a bad approach now it depends person to person right for me maybe it works best but for you it might not work best the second approach is that for example if you learn something for example what you what you should know basically when we talk about dsa i would say that the starting the beginner point is that you should be having a knowledge of loops you should be having a, a knowledge of if else condition you should know the syntax of any one programming language that's the prerequisite right for example if you know all these things and then you start your journey with array based data structure so what you can do is that you you just know the fundamentals of that and then directly you can start doing the questions of that see the the more you practice the you know questions of data structure algorithms the more expertise you will be able to get over the concepts as well you can do a reverse engineering for example what what do we mean by that what i'm saying here for example you studied some concept after that try to approach to many questions which are available on lead code which are available on geeks for geeks website as well try to go and try to understand the concept with the help of that as well for example you you went to the platform and you find out the question uh, on the basis of maybe reverse uh, of a list in an, uh, the numbers are given to you in the form of an array 1d array and the question says that you need you need to reverse that or maybe you have to check that whether the list is a palindromic list or not whether uh array contains a duplicate elements or not these are the questions which can be directly asked from you in an interview as well right now there are multiple approaches to solve any one single question how do you get to know that which which approach is uh, you know better as comparable to the another one here you should have a knowledge of time and space complexity so basically if you know the fundamentals of loops if you know the fundamentals of if else condition if you know the fundamentals of time and space complexity and how we can reproduce any recurrence relation and how we can solve that that is enough what you can do after that is that try to understand the concept and try to practice many questions and when you solve those questions you will be able to get a lot more insight and then maybe you will come up with some concept in while solving the question which is very new for you just try to do the reverse engineering try to go in very much step towards that concept and try to spend more time over there what i feel is that so i talked about two approaches first way is that uh, in a brief nutshell go over all the topics of dsa and then start doing this particular thing here you might feel uh, you know after some point of time lack of motivation or you will not feel you know much challenging but the second approach according to me is quite better where you are learning something and then after learning a little bit about that you are solving more questions for that particular concept in this way if suppose you will be getting a new concept in any of the question it's okay you you did your research and then you find out that there is some concept which is which you are not aware of just try to you know get a knowledge of that that's it so in this way you will find motivation to do more research to explore more questions and once you will be able to get that concept also you will feel very, very happy the major you know uh, the major i would say drawback or the major limitation of this is that people usually lack the motivation they won't be able to sustain for much longer and that's why they are not aware about multiple concepts about the dsa that's the only reason 
you have to see that how you can be consistent in solving these things consistency is very important some people say that uh, okay that guy is having a you know very good iq that's why his problem solving skill is very good or her problem solving skill is very good no it's not like that if you will do your hard work you can beat that talent as well that's very true right so the only thing that you have to make sure is that you should be consistent in solving the questions and more you solve the questions more concepts you will be able to get and when you will you will be able to train your mind in such a way that you will be familiar with multiple concepts in dsa automatically when in an interview someone will ask you a question either you already aware about that question or if not at least you can think that okay these are the logics with the help of which i can solve the questions so can i apply those logics over here as well in order to optimize my code but obviously to start this journey of solving multiple questions of the concepts you should be aware of little bit things which i've just talked about and never ever think that programming is a constraint this is also one of the bigger question which programming language i should start see programming language is just a tool to execute your logic that you have to optimize your code it's just a tool always remember that so doesn't matter whether you are going for python or you are going for for c++ you are going for java do do at least execute your code with the, with the what, whatever logic you have you should know that whatever program you are running what is the overall time and space complexity for that and can you somehow decrease that time and space complexity that's the bigger question that you have to ask from yourself rather than thinking about which programming language to start okay no company even when you go for google as well in the interviews they will not uh, you know tell you that okay do only with this programming language even they just looking for the logic only good logic you just have to focus on that okay yes if you if you want to you know be a, a, a good coder in terms of a cp competitive programming you want to you know uh, challenge some problem you are having interest in that particular part at that point of time i would recommend go for java or c++ because there the uh, execution time will be much faster as comparable to python programming language but and there is a proper reason behind that as well but i'm not going in that much depth but the here what i'm talking about uh, with the respect to the interview per se and i believe that maximum audience in, on my channel is looking for the jobs which or uh, you know are the students who really want to get into some good product based companies and that's what you know value i'm uh, talking about here rather than focusing on any uh, code chef ranker or any uh, lead code top most ranker I, i'm not focusing on those things please try to understand the context here uh, and don't try to misinterpret the things which i am talking here so i hope that this particular thing will give you clarity that what is the optimal way of learning dsa try to apply reverse engineering even it's not in dsa i would say so i am into data science domain uh, uh, you know and there also it's not like that everyone knows everything so when uh, we will do the project we will find something new then we will do the research of that and then we will be able to get an idea that okay this is something which i was not aware of but now i will be able to get an idea that how we can solve yeah why are this particular approach as well so what i'm saying is that try to apply reverse engineering approach it might help at least for me in my as per my experience it really helps me a lot whether i'm talking about dsa or i'm talking about data science learning so try to apply it if it works for for you it's well and good if it's not uh maybe look for the second approach which i have talked about but i found the second approach quite uh you know uh beneficial for me so i am sharing my experience here do let me know what approach do you think uh maybe first one second one or maybe some other approach which you are applying in order to get uh, expertise over these domains dsa and data science i am looking forward to your uh, answers also uh so that i can also maybe uh, learn from you some other new approach which i was not aware of and i can try and explore that as well so with this let's end this video i hope that you find this video insightful if yes what you supposed to do just hit like button and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next upcoming video